the last double on my list celebrates the best of 1980s monster movies. We start with the bullets and blood muscle bound classic Predator. A space warrior has travelled to Earth to hunt and kill game, as in us. A special forces team are on a mission to save hostages from a guerrilla camp deep in the jungle. That's the official story they've been told, but it turns out to be false pretenses. The actual job was doing someone's dirty work. On their way to their rendezvous, one is attacked by the creature. The team face an enemy unlike anything in nature. At this point in his career, Arnold Schwarzenegger had established himself as a bankable star and by many, the quintessential action man. The beginning of an ever popular franchise which has spawned three sequels, another in the works, two crossover movies and an awesome comic book series that has included many crossovers. Now just imagine how this would have turned out if they had kept the original monster design. It reminds me of Jar Jar Binks. It would have been a laughing stock. I first saw this on video rental. It was terrifying and yet so much fun. My best experience was four years ago. I got to see it on the big screen for its 30th anniversary. There is nothing that beats seeing this on the big screen with the 5.1 sound all around you. My only quibble is that they screened the second Blu-ray release, dubbed the Ultimate Hunter Edition. How do I know this? Fox went frame by frame removing all the film grain, which when you see on the big screen makes certain scenes look animated. Now that we have it in 4K, it has never looked better but I do recommend the big screen experience. An absolute favorite in my family. The amount of testosterone in one movie shouldn't work, but it does, and so well.